Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dragon Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the team build that you can use to beat the Int Super Saiyan God SS Evolved Vegeta and his Extreme Z battle. Now we've got Vegeta's Extreme Z Awakening that's arrived and the units that are effective in the Extreme Z battle are Final Trump Card, Physical Units, but you also need to activate the Legendary Power Link. Now of course our goal is to build the easiest team possible uh, and I'll show you my final team uh, obviously for floor 10 but you've got a lot of options here uh, you've got final trump card leads in the form of the physical Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Vegeta, Goku you've got the fifth year LR unit, Gogeta you've got quite a few physical type final trump card units as well with Buhan, uh, Goku and Vegeta from the third year anniversary SS4, Goku and Vegeta from the seventh year anniversary so final trump card and just in general having legendary power shouldn't be a huge problem here we have some free to play LRs as well we'll be using the strength LR Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and we'll be using the physical LR Master Roshi uh, all of these units are incredibly good uh, for this they should all be more than fine they won't do huge damage uh, your big damage dealer is going to be either your own or your friend Super Saiyan 2 SS3 Goku uh, Vegeta combo and that is the unit we want to make sure we cater to when we are building our teams so that is going to be the unit we want to prioritize taking as a friend rainbow etc definitely make sure that you do so now in terms of the final build uh, this is a relatively accessible team uh, that players should be able to access uh, obviously the you know Goku the Vegito uh, all fairly accessible, the Gogeta and the Vegeta all fairly accessible uh, you should use your own SS2 Goku and SS, oh sorry, SS2 Vegeta and SS3 Goku uh, if possible that's 100% going to be the best route to go uh, in regards to this as obviously it's going to mean that you have the highest stats possible and of course as well the most damage possible but overall, not too bad a time. I think there's so many options here that really uh, I don't think there's a huge issue in regards to this. So please uh, definitely give it a try. Uh, you know, try your best. And of course, if you do need any more help, you can let me know in the comments down below. But as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope this has covered everything you need to know. You know somebody that you used to know. But uh, yeah. This should be it. Realistically, it's not too bad. I think there's so many physical uh, final trump card options that I don't really think there's a huge uh, lack of options for players. So I don't think it's necessary to go too big into alternative builds um, as I think there's more than enough options. But yeah, that's it from me. See you guys in the next one. Till then, bye.